Okay, so today I was supposed to be wearing some protective equipment, not because I'm social distancing, not because I'm trying to hide my peach fuzz stubble, Nope, none of that. I was gonna be wearing some protective equipment, a mask and some other stuff because of the cringe radiation that this list is probably going to emit. Now, I've made videos on art degrees in the past and as a lot of people know, the job prospects for art degrees are not the best. There's still a few of them out there that might be worth it for you to go for if you're going for a very specific position. I made videos about that and you can check them out. However, there are many different art degrees that are not worth it 99.9% .9 of the time. Now, I was gonna be wearing wearing a mask and some other stuff that I ordered in order to protect myself from the cringe radiation that this video is going to emit. And in fact, I would recommend that you wear a mask or something like that yourself, maybe some form of eye protection as well, because some of the degrees we're gonna be talking about today are so useless that they make pyramid schemes look like a good opportunity. Today, we're going to be talking about the most useless art degrees. Guys, if you appreciate me putting myself through this much pain in order to make these videos, please don't forget to smash the like button. And actually, we're gonna play a little game with this video today, okay? It's gonna be called You Cringe, You Lose. One cringe equals one like, two cringes equals one like and one comment, and three cringe equals one like, one comment, and one share. Okay, so these are the rules, and uh, you can also drink every time you cringe if you want, as long as you're over 21. I've got some aged whiskey ready here, uh, so uh, we can drink together. Let's get started. All right, so that protective equipment didn't come in, but in the spirit of art degrees, I'm just gonna go ahead and Photoshop some protective equipment on me instead. So number 10 on the list, let's make sure to put some glasses on while we're reading this. It's going to be art history. Now, art history is gonna come in ranking 624 out of 835 possible degrees on pay scale, which is what I'm using for this list. Now, you know when you're starting out with art history as the least worst degree on the list that it's gonna be pretty bad. Now, one thing that I'm gonna say, uh, and this goes for people that are watching this, if you're a trust fund baby, if you're someone who never has to worry about money ever again in your entire life, then hey, some of these degrees might be great for you. Your parents are probably gonna know someone that'll give you an important sounding position and pay you an allowance, I mean, salary. So if that applies to you, then this video probably isn't for you, so don't pay attention to anything that I say. However, if you're someone who actually has to work for a living and contribute to society because you're in a position where you got bills and student loans to pay. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because- And this video is gonna be pretty good. Number nine on the list is going to be Dramatic Arts. It ranks 662 out of 835, and it's basically just a drama degree where you're gonna perform on stage in front of an audience. Now, a lot of people get this degree because they think it'll help them become a famous Hollywood actor. Now, I did a video on a girl who is $118,000 in debt. Her name was Brittany, and she wanted to become the next Regina King. She's in a really bad position. You can check that video out if you want, but basically she wasn't able to get any good jobs and she had to work like three or four different jobs just to be able to pay the bills. Now, don't get me wrong. I have no problem with people trying to chase their dreams. I think that's great and you should try to do it. Just do it in a smart way. Brittany's in a position where she's working multiple different jobs. She's selling off all of her old stuff and she's not even touching the original principle of the loan. So my principle isn't going down. My debt isn't going down. I'm literally just paying the interest. Now sure, that might be an extreme example, but many people who graduate with these degrees end up in similar situations. The truth is, you're probably not gonna become the next Halle Berry or Leonardo DiCaprio. And if that is your goal, then guess what? Neither of those actors got a drama degree. In fact, neither of them got a degree at all. If you wanna break into a super competitive industry like that, spending four years of your life and going $40,000 in debt on average is not gonna help you. In fact, it's probably going to hurt your chances. <sighs> All right, here we go. Starting to get good here, guys. Starting to get good. <sighs> Number eight on the list is going to be fine arts. So the definition of fine arts, as opposed to all the other different types of art, is it's mostly going to be visual and its primary purpose is to be appreciated for its imaginative, aesthetic, or intellectual content. This is a very broad and general degree, obviously. It could apply to many different things from spaghetti art or other different forms of modern art. But with all joking aside, you know, I have no problem with art. I think it's a great thing. But from a personal finance perspective, all I'm saying is when it comes to going to college, spending four years of your life and all of that money 
generally speaking, art degrees are not gonna be worth it at all. Okay, so just think about this from a common sense perspective. Your goal is to be able to make a living from art. In order to do that, there's two general paths you can go down. You can either get hired by someone who will pay you a salary, or you can become kind of an entrepreneur and do your own thing as an artist. If you choose to go the first route, the person who hires you probably isn't gonna care at all about the degree that you got. All they care about is your skill and your portfolio. If you go the second route, you're kind of hiring yourself. And so the boss is basically the people that are buying your products. Now, I don't think anybody looks at a painting and thinks, wow, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. But you know what, before I buy this, I need to make sure that the painter has a college degree. There are some skills out there where getting a degree just doesn't matter at all, and this is a perfect example. And it honestly just blows my mind how many different people fall for this. It's probably because of the fact that they're just so young and they don't know any better. <sighs> okay. Number seven is going to be media arts. This one is going to rank 673, and you might think that this is a degree where it has a little bit more practical purpose. You know, you're integrating digital arts, computer graphics, computer animation, and virtual art. This is something that you might actually require a degree to get into, right? It makes sense because computers are relatively new and animation is new as well. Well, this one is actually worse when it comes to getting a college degree for a lot of the other types of art on the list. And the reason for that is because anything that you can do on a computer using technology, one, it's something that can be outsourced to other countries very easily who also have very talented artists. And two, it's something you can very easily learn on sites like Skillshare. And no, this is not a promotion. There's tons of courses on Skillshare and other different sites like teachable.com, etc., where these courses are really cheap and you can learn from some of the best artists in the entire world. So if you do get into something like this, you have to realize that you're gonna be competing against people from other countries who have a lower cost of living and therefore they can do the same work for much cheaper. And second of all, you have to realize that anybody has access to this type of knowledge and so you don't need to go to college in order to learn how to do it. All right, so this next one is one of the most popular hobbies and subjects that anybody could do in the entire world. It is going to be <laughs> photography. So this one I actually know a lot about because one of my best friends owns a successful wedding photography business. His name's Sam Fawaz and he owns Sam Fawaz Photography in Las Vegas. So real quickly, Sam is an immigrant from Lebanon. He came to the United States hardly knowing any English whatsoever. He told me that he initially learned how to speak English from uh, learning different scenes from Borat. Then he basically got a normal stable job working as a pharmacy technician in a local independent pharmacy. And on the side, he started practicing his dream, which was wedding photography. This was his passion and his ultimate goal here in the US was to become a successful wedding photographer. Now, after doing this for a few months on the side for free, he built up enough of a portfolio that people were willing to actually pay him for their photos. At this point, he started making a nice amount of side income in order to supplement the money that he was making from his job. He saved up enough money for him to move to a much better place for wedding photography at the time, which was Las Vegas, and that's where he met me. So at this point, he went full-time as a wedding photographer, and he was able to build up his business and become one of the top-rated wedding photographers in the entire city. It was awesome as his friend to watch him go from nothing to a very successful business within a few years. A great success. He didn't go to college, didn't spend any money on expensive uh, photography courses or anything like that. He bought a few cheap books and he watched free content, which is online, and then he just practiced, 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 and that's how he got better. And if you're an artist, I recommend taking this route instead because 99% of the time, going to college, getting a college degree is not going to help you achieve your goals. If he had gone to college and gone deep into debt, chances are he would have had to work extra jobs in order to pay off that debt, and then he wouldn't have been able to start the business on the side. Oh man, this next one. I'm gonna have to put a mask on for this, it's starting to get bad. Number five on the list is going to be theater arts or theater art management. So this degree is similar to drama, but it has more to do with plays and how to run a theater. And it's not surprising that this one is even worse than drama because let's be honest, there's not that much money in this ancient industry. Now, last year I went to Bard on the Beach in Vancouver, Canada, and I had a great time. We watched a Shakespeare play. Afterwards, I talked to some of the actors and I made sure to ask them, you know, since I own a YouTube channel, whether they got a college degree or not. Most of them said that they didn't get a degree at all, or they did get one, but it had nothing to do with theater or drama. 
One said he started volunteering at the theater and then eventually he got some part-time gigs. He worked, you know, in the back, helped set things up, and then eventually he was able to work himself up to a full-time position. Again, this is one of those skills where you absolutely do not need to get a college degree in order to break into this. You'd be much better off just getting a normal job and then practicing it on the side. Eventually you'll get a little bit lucky, you'll build some skills, and you'll get a full-time position. Number four on the list is going to be painting. Oh boy. I promise I don't have a problem. I'm not even gonna share the statistics on uh, any of these because they're just, they're really, really bad. 754 out of 835 possible degrees. I think this one should be obvious enough. If you wanna make money as a painter, getting a degree is just not gonna help you. What will help you is 10,000 hours of practice in order to become a master, and then figuring out how you can make money from your skill. This will probably involve networking, being creative, probably having a little bit of an entrepreneurial spirit. Now I've gone to some of those wine and painting nights I've seen people doing the street paintings as well where they'll you know paint something on the street and then sell it to people that are walking by those people are making a living you know doing painting and those are a couple of different examples of how you can make a living with this and neither of those require you to have a degree in art there wasn't one single wine and painting night where my friends and I or people that were at the painting event asked the instructor if they had a degree. Nobody cared about that. All we care is how good of a teacher they are and how good of an artist they are and how much fun we're gonna have. Okay, man, this next one is pretty bad. Number three on the list is going to be culinary arts. So culinary arts is art that is all related to cooking and baking, not only just the taste of the food, but the presentation as well. An explosion of flavor! It ranks 757 out of 835 possible degrees, and you might think that this one might be a little bit more useful because, hey, you see a lot of restaurants out there, right? But in reality, this is one of the worst because most people don't really care all that much about fancy, you know, French dining presentation or anything like that. All they really care about is how good the food tastes and the service that they get. And even if they did care about the presentation, you can learn how to do that from a book or you can maybe take a class on it. You don't have to go to school for four years. Okay, it's just getting worse and worse. Next on the list is going to be art teacher education. Now I've talked about this one before, but education degrees unfortunately don't pay off very well. Wish they paid better, I think they should pay better, but that's besides the point, they don't. Now a normal education degree doesn't pay very well, but when you get even more specific with it, it gets even worse. This one ranks 782 out of 835 possible degrees. Now this one is art related. You would get this degree, I guess, to become an art teacher, but the thing Thing is is you could just get an education degree not have to get an art teacher education degree and you could still go into that same profession and you'd be much more flexible if you decided to change your mind down the line this is an example of a degree that's way too niche it's way too specific getting an education degree already is specific enough if you're getting the degree you probably want to become a teacher and so there's no reason to get any more specific than that okay here we go. Number one on the list is going to be baking and pastry arts. This one ranks 829 out of 835 possible degrees. Now I enjoy baking myself. I've made some really amazing modern art in the past in order to celebrate my friend's birthdays. But all these degrees have one main problem that's in common. It's called supply and demand. And there's a ton of people that wanna do this for a living because hey, it's cool. Who wouldn't wanna decorate cakes and bake and you know make food for a living? But unfortunately, there's just not that many businesses out there or people that are willing to pay you a living salary for this. There's a lot of supply of people that would love to do this for a living, but there's not a lot of demand of people who are willing to pay for it. Now this is an example of that, but all of them have the same exact problem. So if you wanna break into any of these fields, you've gotta get creative with it and start thinking like an entrepreneur. Going to college, getting a formal education for four years, getting set back $40,000 in debt, none of these things are going to help you to achieve your goals 99% of the time. All right, so you know, people tell me all the time, I make these videos in order to troll people or I'm just being an 
coal or something like that. That's not the case at all. I make these videos in order to warn you guys about one of the biggest problems of our time, which is the student debt crisis. People are going out there, they're getting extremely expensive degrees, and then they're not able to get a job from those degrees. And these universities and these loan companies are just making a killing off of these people. I'm trying to help you guys to avoid that whole situation. And these universities will tell naive 18 year olds whatever they wanna hear. Not old enough to uh, legally drink, but apparently you're old enough to go $40,000 dollars in debt and make a decision that's going to affect the rest of your life by the way this totally wasn't alcohol guys i don't i don't want this video to get demonetized this this was just it was apple juice make sure to smash the like button hit the subscribe button ring the notification bell comment down below any thoughts comments criticisms especially if you're someone who's gotten an art degree i'd love to hear your opinion on it and make sure to check out my videos right here i made them just for you